Hello all, welcome back to Concept E classes. In this video, we will be covering the question and answers of chapter 1, Crop Production and Management. We have already covered the main topics of this chapter in the previous video and it is advisable that students must initially go through the first lecture of crop production. Exercises. So the first question is, select the correct word from the following list and fill in the blanks. The first question. The same kind of plants grown and cultivated on a large scale at a place is called as a crop. Now the second question. The first step before growing crops is dash of the soil. We know basically there are six practices, agriculture steps for cultivation of crops. And the first step is preparation of soil. Now the third question, damaged seeds would dash on top of water. You know how we can select good seeds? When we put some seeds in water, some would float whereas some might sink. It's because the damaged seeds becomes hollow and thus they become lighter and they float on water. Now the fourth one is for growing a crop, sufficient sunlight and dash and dash from the soil are essential. What would be the answer? It would be water and nutrients. Now let's go to the second question. Match the following items in column A with those in column B. We have column A consists of carif crops, rabi crops, chemical fertilizers, organic manure and in B we have food for cattle, urea and superphosphate, animal excreta, wheat, gram, pea, paddy and maize. So we have to match the following. So the first one is carif crops. So, if you look in the B side, we know it might be either of these two. Okay. So, carif crops are paddy and maize. Rabi crops are wheat, gram and pea. Now, chemical fertilizers, what would be in the three options? It would be urea and superphosphate. Organic manure, is it the food for the cattle or animal excreta? Organic manure is animal excreta, waste of animals and plants. Now the next question is give two examples of each. One is a carif crop and rabi crops. Example of carif crops, paddy and cotton. Example of rabi crops is wheat and mustard. So the fourth question is write a paragraph in your own words on each of the following. A. Preparation of soil. B. Sowing. C. Weeding and D. Threshing. A. Preparation of soil. The preparation of soil means to turn and loosen the soil. Since only a few centimeters of topsoil supports plant growth, turning and loosening the soil brings the nutrient-rich soil to the top so the plants can use it. What do you mean by nutrient-rich soil? We know that the soil contains water, minerals and certain dead plants and animals. The organisms in the soil, they decompose these dead plants and animals and the nutrients inside these dead organisms are released back into the soil. So, by turning and loosening, what happens? The plant can easily use these nutrients which are inside the soil. By loosening the soil, it helps the growth of earthworms and microbes. These are called as a friend of farmers. And the roots can penetrate deeply into the soil and they can exchange gases as well. Now, this process of turning and loosening the soil is called as tilling or ploughing. And it is done with the help of a plough. This is a picture or a real-time image for the preparation of soil by using a plug. Now the second question was about sowing. What do you mean by sowing? The process of planting seeds is called as sowing. The traditional tool used for sowing is shaped like a funnel. But nowadays we use seed drill for sowing. It sows seeds uniformly at equal distance and depth and saves both time as well as labor. These are the images of the tools which are used for sewing. This is the funnel, the traditional tool, which is a funnel and it consists of three roads. I have explained this in the previous video about how they sow seeds with the help of a traditional tool. And the second one is a seed drill. See, it plants the seeds in equal distance and at equal depth. Nowadays, we use seed drill for sewing. Now, the next question is weeding. What do you mean by weeding? Or what do you mean by weeds? 
The undesirable plants that may grow along with the crops are called as weeds. The process of removal of weeds is called as weeding. Now how can weeding be done? Tilling before sowing that is preparing the soil or by ploughing the soil the weeds can be killed. And the second method is by using a kurpi or a seed drill. And weeds can also be controlled by using certain chemicals called as weedicides like 2 or 4D. See this is how they spray the insecticides or weedicides to kill the weeds. The fourth question was threshing. When crops mature, they are pulled out or cut close to the ground and this process is called as harvesting. And in the harvested crops, the grain seeds need to be separated from the chaff and that process is called as threshing. Threshing is done by a machine called as combine, which is both a harvester as well as a thresher. Farmers with small lands do threshing with the help of the process called as winnowing. This is a combine. Here it harvests the crops and here it does a process of threshing. It separates the chaff along with the grains. Question number 5 is explain how fertilizers are different from manures. There are basically four differences between fertilizers and manures. First one, fertilizers are man-made. Manures are natural substance obtained by the decomposition of plant and animal waste. Fertilizers is prepared in factories. Manures are prepared in fields. Fertilizers doesn't provide any humus to the soil. Manures provide a lot of humus to the soil. Fertilizers are rich in nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, whereas manures are relatively less rich in plant nutrients. Question number 6. What is irrigation and describe two methods of irrigation which conserve water? The supply of water to crops at regular intervals is called as irrigation. The sources of irrigation are wells, tube wells, ponds, lakes, river, dam, canals. The two methods which conserve water are sprinkler system and drip system. Sprinkler system. It's more useful at uneven land where insufficient water is there. It have perpendicular pipes with rotating nozzles on top and it is joined to the main pipeline at regular intervals. It gives the effect of raining and is useful for lawns, coffee, plantations. Drip system. Here the water falls drop by drop directly near the roots and it's best technique for watering fruit plants, gardens and trees. And here water is not wasted at all. So this is a real time image of a sprinkler. And this is real-time image of drip system. Here the water is not wasted at all. Question number 7. If wheat is sown in carrot season, what would happen? Let's discuss. Wheat is a rabi crop. That is a crop which is grown in winter season. It is from the month of October to March. If wheat is grown in carrot season, that is rainy season, the crops would die in with excess water and the yield would be significantly less. That is, the farmers would get a less production of wheat. So it is not possible to grow wheat in carrot season. Now question number 8. Explain how soil gets affected by continuous plantation of crops in a field. Soil supplies minerals and nutrients to the plant. But due to continuous cultivation of crops in a field, the soil becomes poorer in nutrients and less fertile. And this also decreases the crop production. Thus, farmers have to add manures and fertilizers to replenish the soil nutrients or apply the process of crop rotation or leave the field uncultivated for a few seasons. So question number 9. What are weeds and how can we control them? The undesirable plants that grow along with the crops are called as weeds and the process of removing these undesirable plants are called as weeding. Now how can we control them? Tilling before sowing that is preparing the soils by using a seed drill or by using a plough helps in uprooting and killing the weeds. And manual weeding is done by using a kurpi 
by uprooting or cutting the weeds close to the ground or by using a seed drill to uproot the weeds weeds can also be controlled by using certain chemicals called as weedicides like 2 or 4d which are sprayed in the fields using a sprayer here this is a corn field and in between you could find weeds see these are weeds and we should control them or else they will compete with these crops for sunlight soil and other nutrients so question number 10 arrange the following boxes in proper order to make a flow chart of sugarcane production so we have to arrange these boxes in the proper order so i hope you guys remember the basic practices of agriculture so the first step was preparation of soil now how do we prepare the soil by plowing the field now after preparing the soil what is the next step we have to sow the seeds so the third step would be sowing next we apply manures and fertilizers then the fifth step would be irrigation we water the plants then after the crops mature we cut them close to the ground and that process is called as harvesting then what do we do we send all this crop to the sugar factory and store it there in silos or granaries so the question 11 is a puzzle and we have to fill this puzzle with the help of these clues we have some letters in between and we have to fill this puzzle based on these clues so let's see the first one is providing water to the crops that process is called as irrigation second one keeping crops or grains for a long time under proper conditions that process is called as storage certain plants of the same kind grown on a large scale down that is crop now across let's see the clue a machine used for cutting matured crop that machine is called as a harvester fourth one a rabi crop that is also one of the pulses gram sixth one a process of separating the grain from the chaff that is called as winnowing so we have come to an end of our video for detailed answer sheets email us on conceptecloss@gmail.com drop your email id in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel if you find the contents useful tune in soon for the next session and the next video will be on chapter 2 microorganisms a friend and a foe tune in for that thank you all god bless you take care bye bye